you know, we're busting our butt out there, man, and it's really, really exciting. So right here we have the mama. Two, that's a big clutch. You said in between seven and 10, right? That was your guess? What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great, great day. Because I'll tell you right now, I'm having an amazing, amazing day. I just got from back from Mexico yesterday. As you guys know, that we are working really, really hard out there in Mexico on, you know, being able to, you know, ship out a lot of snakes. Not just mine, but a lot of people out here breeding ball pythons to get them out there and have different facilities in different popular states of Mexico. So it makes it a lot easier for the shipping. And, you know, we're busting our butt out there, man. And it's really, really exciting. Before we get to this vlog, a uh, big shout out to Club More Pythons. For this awesome shirt, man, straight rocking this bad boy. Been a little tight on me. This is an extra large too, but I'll tell you what, I've been going out there in Mexico. If you guys follow my Instagram stories, man, boy, been putting it away down there. But guys, we have a really, really, really cool and exciting vlog for you to, for, for you guys today. Um, we have another girl that laid an egg. This is actually clutch number seven. Um, Tina actually pulled clutch number six the other day, but she tried to film it. You know, um, just she just wasn't having it. I it could just, not film it by so, myself. So real quick, again, because you know, people always get mad at me. That I don't put you on there. And look, yeah. I gave Tina the opportunity <laughs> to just do her own vlog, which I know I would do better than my own vlogs because, no you know, way. she's prettier, she's no cooler. Um, but yeah, she couldn't, uh, you know, do it. But, you know, big I shout out no to the turtle. I love um, it. But then she pulled out an awesome clutch. So we had, that was clutch number six that she pulled out. And now this right here is clutch number seven. And this is a banger. It's a first time uh, girl, a first time uh, goer. First time layer. <laughs> first time layer. And uh, man, look at this right here. Look at that. Woohoo! Is that not a clutch? Uh, it is. I mean, but, yeah, I was like saying, like, oh, is that not girl? <laughs> want, want, want me to vlog you? <laughs> want me to vlog you? No. Want me to vlog you? All right. So right here we have a hypo puzzle. Jordan, can you talk a little bit about the hypo puzzle? This is just like he said, the hypo puzzle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna pull up. first time lane. <laughs> So what was bred to her was an orange dream, yellow belly, desert ghost, het hypo that's, uh, you know, currently locked up with that uh, super asphalt. So this is pretty cool. Right here, we could get some awesome looking freeways that'll be 100% head DG, you know, possible head hypos. But with this clutch right here, man, um, I believe there's around seven to like maybe 10 eggs in there. We don't know yet. The cool thing about this, if we hit an orange dream, yellow belly, hypo, I mean, they're gonna be 100% double, well, they're gonna be double hat DG puzzles. When I post this picture up on my Patreon, people were going crazy on it, man. Freaking Will Morrow's freaking, you know, dibs, dibs, dibs. Speaking of Will Morrow's, if you guys ain't following him, go check out his uh, Patreon. Him and I are actually doing a live tomorrow. So, well, this comes out Wednesday. But you guys can go back over there and check out the video. Will is, you know, a great, great guy and actually put out a uh, Patreon vlog about some investment breeders. He was actually the first name that I brought up that I think people should be really, really looking forward to see what the stuff he produces. Because I'm telling you right now, man, I am excited. Because, you know, we talk one-on-one -on -one a lot. And just knowing the stuff he's pulling out is really, really exciting. But, uh, yeah, he actually said this clutch has Will Morals written all over it, which it kind of does because, you know, Will's a big, you know, um, a okay. big puzzle guy. But, yeah, before we pull this clutch out, we have some, a couple of females that are having their final locks. Um, like I said, we already have a lot of females here that are going to go 100%. I don't know if they're still locked, but, yep, they are. DG Clown, let me put you away, to a... Inchy clown, so that one's gonna be pretty cool. Definitely want to make a lot of DG head clown stuff or clown head DG things. Definitely want to push that out a lot. Um, over here, this is their last lock for these guys right here. Oh, and they're not locked anymore. But this is the one that I failed in hitting the uh, the Pompeii, which I think we might have hit the pastel Pompeii. I'm still not 100% sure. We're gonna know eventually once we're breeder, but I mean, I think we did. If it's missing one gene, I would say it's missing um, the red stripe. Gene, but definitely has yellow bellies. You can see all the flames on it. Definitely has black pastel, um, spot nose. Um, I mean, again, I don't know. It's a beautiful snake. Just don't know if it has everything in it. I mean, if you compare this snake to a regular Pompeii, you could actually see that it's very similar looking. It's just, you know, the, the pastel is so freaking strong. They got these females, man, that are growing up. Yellow belly scarecrow, possible hip hide. I don't think she'll prove out though. What do you think, turtle? Um, I think, I don't Make know sure if I'd bet on it, actually. Make sure it's warm right in there. Here's one of my favorite combos. Getting really, really big. Nice shot, too, huh? You can tell we have our humidity really high up here. This right here is an Orange Dream Leopard Yellow Belly Clown 100% Hep Pied. So right here we have the mama, and we have her offspring from last season. 
And yeah, man, she's gonna go again, like I said, for the third season. Um, this time she was bred to an Orange Dream Fire Clown 100% hat pie. So hopefully we can hit some super OD clown pies, or I mean, if the odds were with us, super OD yellow belly fire leopard clown pies. That'll be sick. But this is one of my favorite uh, combos. I love the look that she has. And a lot of these right here are just our, you know, our grow outs that are growing up pretty, pretty good. Here's another one. This right here is a spot nose, yellow belly, cinnamon possible red stripe. Which, you know, I would say it does. It's basically, you know, pretty much would be the cinnamon Pompeii, right? We don't know yet. We're not 100% sure. Just showing you guys some snakes I haven't showed you guys in a while. Here's one of my favorites with the, with the perfect shed. As it sheds right there in the head. <laughs> with the new shed is what I wanted to say. Guys, I have not been sleepy. Right here we have a black pastel yellow belly Wookiee clown. But yeah, a lot of our growths here, man, growing up pretty, pretty good. Look at that. Cypress Batman. What else do we have here growing out? Oh my gosh, dude. My leopard OG clown pie is getting big. Look at that. This is a last year, this is a last year uh season's girl right here. But she's just always been a wonderful feeder, man. And right here we have an orange dream leopard clown pie. So freaking sick. So we have that. Oh my god, a lot of things shed right here. Cypress fire yellow belly lace clown. Heck clown. I have a uh, male and a female. That one right there but yeah all right guys let's pull out this clutch i just wanted to show you all this cool stuff that's going on over here Shard already prepped the box so you can see you guys know we use easy hatch trays dude that's a big clutch you said in between seven and ten right that was your guess i think so yeah i mean it's big let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine. Oh, nice. oh my gosh these are freaking awesome oh she just laid them she just laid them that's too fresh so all right, let me move the cart real quick, guys. Give me one second. All right, before I separate these uh, eggs real quick, I need to take out the the black tag. Again, big shout out to uh, Track Tags. Track underscore tags. Look them up, man. You can get all these things. They're very, very convenient. Put on the red tag, because this means we're going to give it a full clean, wipe all those numbers out. Of course, we're going to have to get all the information first. But, uh, yep, let's uh, start pulling these bad boys off. Like I said, I'm glad she just laid them, because... They're not going to be too hard to pull apart. Turtle, how hard was it to vlog by yourself? It was honestly one of the hardest things I've had to do. When you were doing that, were you like, dang, like Miguel's freaking tight. That was a straight up boss. For sure I was. I was like, wow, big props. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really got it down. <laughs> No, but it was really frustrating for me to do it by myself. I'm just not it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not it. Man, this nine clutch, not nine clutches, nine, nine eggs. eggs, dude. That is so freaking awesome. All right, let's, uh, let me do this real quick. Put this Handle here. these babies. Oh my gosh, look at that. Veins are great. And it was so cool because we only got like two, uh, they only locked up like twice. It was just perfect timing. I'll tell you right now, dude, if I get like two point, two point, uh, Seven. I'm gonna keep everything. I know Will Morrow's is gonna be pissed at me, but you know what? Will um, does it all the time. He never wants to sell us anything. You better do it this year, though. I know I could blackmail him with this kind of stuff, though. Okay. Wow. Everything looks freaking perfect. Oh, that's so freaking awesome, man. Nine eggs. Well, we're gonna let Tina get all the information. Then we're gonna head out over there to the other room and uh, check on the other clutches and go from there. So as you guys can see, we have six clutches right here. Um, the first one that we will be cutting is on July. 15th which was a what was it can you see here banette nope this right here is a black pastel mojave hypo bred to a mandarin calico hypo this next clutch right here is the one that's going to be a uh, what's it called quad hats dreamsicle bred to a sunset clown third clutch right here is double hat hypo puzzle bred to a hypo puzzle fourth clutch is a cypress mojave bred to a od fire clown head pie next one is a double hat Sunset albino bred to a double head sunset albino and of course turtle just pulled this one out Which was a pastel freeway bred to a black pastel Asphalt head lap and now we're gonna put clutch number seven, which is the ODYB DG hypo bred to the hypo puzzle Yeah. Hell yeah. Should have opened that for me big time. What's up with that? Uh, it's not the camera big homie <laughs> Okay. There you go. Sweet Thank you guys for everything. <laughs> hey, you forgot my appreciate all the support. <laughs> appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, deuces.